Hello friends, my name is The Real Emil, welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport. Today we're continuing on with the Let's Play, this is episode 10, and in today's episode we are taking a look at the mid-engine event in the point-to-point -point races. For that we need a mid-engine car, and luckily, uh, I've been saving it for a rainy day, uh, we have a mid-engine car in our garage, it's called a 2004 Acura NSX, let's go. Wow. And we're going to paint it as well, because... The... They're basically the same thing. The grey it comes in is really boring. Uh, what colour? I need cool. to paint it yellow for that certain someone. Uh, oh fuck, that's snow. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's snowing on me! Ah! <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> you can mod the NSX, what can I do to it? That's the question. Oh, uh, that, what the fuck is that? Backyard. That's weird. Sad. This actually... Oh god, you can put a full diffuser on it, which is interesting. Oh, you can actually have like full-on race parts to it. It's kind of interesting. What the fuck does it have better customization for the NSA? What the fuck is that wing? Need to speed 2015, dude. That wing is so and horrific. Super Legacy from New Jersey in the snow. Nice. Wow. Anyways, that's that NSX. It's built. It's done. Let's go. Why am I driving faster than people from New Jersey? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are going to this and mid-engine event opens the cars with a real-world drive mid-engine configuration. First place receives the Toyota Vis Racing MR2 Turbo T-Bar. That's a mouthful. Mid-engine real-wheel drive cars. That's the competition. No weirdness going on here. There's a clear one here for you, Azza. Anyways, uh, oh no, uh, Nurburgring. Uh, a and D! <laughs> Let's go! Do you have to do the full ring or is it just part no. of it? It's part of the Nurburg ring. My cockiness no. has been killed. No, Thanks, bad. Azza. I blame your Cleo. <laughs> Isn't that one of like, the few games that let you do only sections of the ring instead of the whole thing at once? Um, yeah, uh, Forza 4 had it as well, but that was like a passing event, which was a bit strange. That, that's like Forza 4. That's several years down the line. Like, near as I can figure, Forza is the only game that lets you race only certain parts of the ring. Oh, I used to. It doesn't even Forza 5 anymore because, yeah, or whatever we're on now. Anyways, Clear. here we go. This is a weird fucking field. We've got MR2s, we've got a Stratos, we've got a Clio, a VX220. Goodbye, all. <laughs> Straight snow. line. Yeah. Is the RX-7 like dead dead or are you just using the Echo because Echo? Uh, I'm using the Echo because some dipshit hacked out all the wiring for the alternator so the car can't charge. Oh. So, oh you'll be going down the road and it'll just die because the battery's dead. And I haven't been able to fix it because I've been balls deep in glass for just all Unfortunate stuff. Which uh, is why my voice sounds kind of bleh. I'm on my phone driving home. Yes. Appreciate the fact we have an LRC. This is what you people should be yes. doing. To be However, fair, would you... you might be in a few moments because I'm going into a place to go buy chicken wings. Oh yeah. god. To be honest, because would you... I want my chicken, I want my Jameson, and god damn it, I've earned it after today. Hey, look, everyone, you can see Nürburgring GP over there. The course that Forza didn't get until Forza... 4? Yes. No one cares about it, though, because the GP circuit is really boring. Thing is, though, with the snow, would you really want to drive your RX-7 in it? Yeah, of course you would. Uh, Real world drive skid I for the kids. Uh, <laughs> I really would like to be driving the RX-7 because, while this thing is nice, the RX-7 has those lights that do the space switch type thing. So basically, pop up headlights make a car better to drive. Yes. Absolutely. That and the fact that that thing not only has snow tires, but also fog lights as well. And the Echo oh, doesn't. Yeah. Uh, the Echo has snow tires, but it does not have fog lights. And it's like, you can only see, see like a couple feet in front of you in this crap. Nice. Plus the RX-7 also has this really bang and factory sounds. Fair enough. It's really mm -hmm. Alright. Anyways. Um, that was the first bit of the Nurburgring. Time to do the next bit, which is apparently 
the D bit. Also, notice how the Nurburgring logo is apparently cut off in. What the? F I just look at. What the fuck? I don't know. Anyways, that's what we're doing next. Oh, uh, burger ring. Oh, there you go. It's fixed itself now. The burger ring go. has fixed itself. Burger ring. I don't remember going over to Germany. The burger ring. Forty-two. Her. Whatever the hell. The Hugh Hefner ring. Wait, what? <laughs> Nissan Skyline Ner. The ultimate racetrack yeah. of the Nissan Ultima. <laughs> Ultima? Ultima. Hmm. Oh no, they are two different things. Is there such thing as an Ultima? There is an Ultima, isn't there? Yeah. Alright. I will be right back. Chicken! Okay. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know what the fuck that was, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Was LRC here? <laughs> yeah. Fucking, I don't know. We love him, really. He's fucking great. He is. William. Oh, that was not a fun pass to make. I will say, Nurburgring in this game doesn't seem too bad because it's a lot wider. I think that's the one thing I've noticed with Forza 1. Everything's wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my biggest problem with Nurburgring is the fact that where do you overtake? Oh, so yeah, no interior camera on this game. Oh well. I like interior camera. Oh well. So I'm having to race in third person, which is weird for me, because I don't usually race in third person anymore. Uh, this was my default position as a kid. I fucking loved uh, the rear camera, but as time has gone on, and my tastes have matured, I prefer interior cameras. Fair enough. Cool. I tried to get on with like interior cameras, bumper cameras and shit, but honestly at the end of the day I just find myself going back to third person because I don't know, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I like having a view of the car. It's a game, I like being able to see where everyone is in relation to me. The thing that turned to me was uh, that fail race video, the racing guide, because he was just like, oh, if you use bonnet view you get a better view around you, so I started using bonnet view and then I think playing Forza I think watching him playing Forza 5, he was using the interior view a lot, and I started using the interior view, and then before you know it, I'm a full interior view convert now, that's what I use. Fair enough. I could probably be quicker if I used HUD camera, but I just like having the interior view. Because I like seeing the car again. It's good to see your car. I get that. Trees and trees and weed and trees. Trees are different colours when they're trees. What? Did you know, as trees are different colours? Wow. No, they're not. All the trees around me are dead. <laughs> Just like everyone in my life. <laughs> <laughs> my wife left me for my <laughs> chemical romance. <laughs> There's a lot of trees over there, and then there's just sort of some muddy textures going on over there. Also, 150 miles an hour. Have we got any more? Can we get to 155? Yes, we can! Nice. And now we're going up a hill. We'd actually be quicker in fifth gear, but never mind. Anyways, we get money. We don't level up. No one cares. Oh, well. It's a damn shame. Anyways, we get a new car. We get an MR2 without pop-ups. Which looks very confused. And massive wing! Holy fuck! <laughs> that is a wing, that is. That is a fucking deck chair on the back. There's no doubt about that one. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we're going to do something else. I don't know what it is going to be. Until then, farewell. It's like a